This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com and I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your Windows 8 startup menu so that you could clean up all the programs that start when Windows starts and slow down your initial Windows loading also help free up some RAM and CPU utilization by freeing up those programs and disabling them. Now in Windows 7 you use the MS Config utility but in Windows 8 you can access the startup programs by simply right clicking on your Windows button and then going to Task Manager and then clicking on Startup Menu. Alternatively, you can just hit Control Alt Delete and then click Task Manager and that'll take you into your startup menu as well. Now the first thing you want to do on the startup tab is you'll notice that the default uh, has four columns, name, publisher, status, and startup impact. You could sort by startup impact and look for high impact applications. But before you start disabling startup programs, let's see exactly how much impact they have. Right click at your column area and then add disk IO at startup and then right click again and add CPU at startup and then look at the additional impact information you get. So you could see for let's say the Logitech gaming framework this uses 19.2 megabytes disk IO at startup and about 500 milliseconds of CPU time. Obviously not much CPU time but if you look at Dropbox this uses a lot more CPU time at startup and a lot more RAM as well. So you choose what you want to disable to help free up that initial um, RAM and CPU utilization. That way Windows loads faster to the desktop and things like that. Also, this is a good way to see what's actually running when you first start Windows so you can start disabling it. Now, this isn't a comprehensive catch-all startup. Malware and spyware and some hidden programs can hide themselves from the Windows startup and still start up in the background, but this is a good way to generally weed out general healthy normal programs and help improve your Windows startup speed. So what you would just do is right click on any application you don't want to start at startup and say you don't need it. Like I don't need my Bluetooth to start at startup. I don't have active Bluetooth on my desktop all the time. Just click disable and now it's disabled. You could also sort by just enabled applications and then look for the ones that are enabled and disable them from the start menu. If you don't know what you're disabling, do some research on it, look it up, right click on something, open the file location, you could get some details more on what that application is, uh, do a Google search on it if you're completely unsure, but generally it's safe to delete or, or you know, disable almost anything in the start menu that shows up that's not a Microsoft specific service. So in this case I'll just disable a few more applications that I know don't need to necessarily be at the startup and when you're good to go just close out and obviously reboot your windows to take effect and then you can keep measure test and measure uh, each time you want to reboot now by disabling them it doesn't remove them so you remember they're still there if you want to re-enable them later on if you want to actually remove them you'll have to actually uninstall the program so that it removes it from the startup menu as well this is how you remove startup programs from your windows 8 startup that way you can improve your windows load times and help keep your system running cleanly thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.